Good Wednesday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder with the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. This afternoon, low pressure continues to work through Prince William Sound on the north side of it. It's cold enough for snow. In fact, some places, including Honolulu and points northward, including Fairbanks, have seen at least a dusting, maybe a little bit more in some cases. Upwards of an inch or so across some of the northern interior and the Brooks Range there, and the snow will continue to fall in many places, especially the eastern interior and coastal plain of the North Slope, as we go through the remainder of the week. But for the south, it is rain and wind. And looking farther southward still, a 990 millibar low is working northward toward the Gulf of Alaska. And that's got some parts of southeast under a high wind watch around the Dixon entrance to Cape Decision Coastal Area. A high wind watch is in effect from Thursday morning through Friday afternoon. The winds will increase early Thursday morning as a strong front moves in from the south. The winds will briefly slacken off Thursday afternoon, but then increase again Thursday night and Friday. The high winds are then expected to decrease Friday afternoon as the front moves north through southeastern Alaska. The winds could come up to southeast from about 20 to 35 miles per hour with gusts that could get as high as 60 to 65 miles per hour. So people there in southeast, which could include Craig, Klawak, Ketchikan, and Metlakatla, are urged to secure loose objects to prevent them from being blown around. And high winds could also make travel difficult for high-profile vehicles and branches getting blown off trees. So watch for that again. That will be from Thursday morning through Friday afternoon, a high wind watch for southern parts of southeast. Looking ahead on into Thursday, it won't just be the wind across southeast, it'll be rain as well. Rain is pretty steady across a large section of the uh, eastern parts of Alaska. Farther north, though, of the Alaska Range, light snow and fog will still be an issue. A rain may mix in with that snow during the afternoon hours of Thursday and again on Friday for the same places. Uh, the clouds will start to break up, though, across south-central and southwestern Alaska, and some of that clearing, at least partially, could linger into Friday. Look out to the west and southwest for the Aleutians and southwestern Alaska 982 millibar low will swing in from the west and that will bring in more wind and probably at least some high-end gales to the central and eastern Aleutians as well as some rain and poor visibility. For the northwestern coast in the Seward Peninsula, it still looks like light rain and occasional drizzle for the region. Light snow and fog will continue across the Arctic coast and the eastern interior with the cold air moving into the Yukon and decreasing clouds heading into the weekend. With Alaska statewide weather, I'm meteorologist.